Hey what's up YouTubers, Mr. Joe back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool League of Legends intro. It's pretty neat, I have a rough idea of how I want it to be. Uh, now I don't actually have the intro made, I'm just going to make it on the spot. So if you want to see it, go to the end of the video to view it. But I have a rough idea of how to make it so how about we just get started. So open up Sony Vegas, you will need these four files right here. Uh, this is the background, ooh this is the background. And this is the map in the background. And this is some shiny gold for the logo we're gonna make. So first things first is our logo. So if just makes it really big. Okay, now right click anywhere and go to insert video track. Now what we're gonna do is right click in the video track and go to insert text media. And we're gonna insert our text. So you insert whatever you want the the logo, your text to say. I'm gonna have my YouTube channel name. Mr. Jubble. Now you can download any font you want, but I recommend like a medieval looking font. That's usually usually looks nice nice so I'm gonna use a font that I recently downloaded and it's called midnight something it should be midnight moon it's this one right here and as you can see it looks a little bit weird uh, so what I'm gonna do is after you've put it in your text right click and go to properties and go to maintain aspect ratio uncheck that and go to disable resample uncheck that and now go to the pan cropped and adjust it to your liking so make it look the way you want it to look make it look the way the League of Legends logo looks so it's a little bit skinnier and it's a little bit wider so this is this is good right here uh, so click this again and zoom in a little bit okay there you go uh, now we gotta edit this to make it look to the League of Legends logo so right click on it and then go to edit generated media once we're here, you go to the text color, click that, and make it um, lower the opacity down to zero so it's see-through. After that, go to outline and outline color. Uh, League of Legends outline color is black, so we're just going to go with black. Bam. Increase this about halfway, and you're good to go. Right now, you can't see anything. That's okay. Uh, go to advanced for Sony Vegas Pro 12, but in older ver versions, you won't have to do this. Uh, go to the background and change the background to completely black so increase the opacity bam now it's good to go so now if we insert something in the bottom uh, it'll come out looking nice so now go to the gold that I gave you guys uh, where is the gold shiny gold background put it underneath your text and bam there's this, this little thing right here so in order to fix this I guess you could say uh, go to go to pan crop for the gold and go to mask now, for Sony Vegas Pro 12, you have these uh, triangle and oval, oval tools, but for older Sony Vegas's, uh, you won't have these, so just make it uh, with this tool right here. I'm just going to make it with this. So just, you know, crop it out in the middle, roughly. Bam, there you go, perfect. It's like in the middle. Now, this text is giving off a pretty nice vibe by itself, so we don't need to do any correcting, but if you really want to make it look different, you can go to Video Effect, and go to color curves and this will change the color of the background gold uh, so you could change it to anything go to default maybe increase the lights and increase the darks it gives us a darker look this looks nice I'm gonna keep it like this okay uh, now once you have it like this what you're gonna do is you're gonna click save over here and you're gonna save it anywhere but I recommend that you save it on your desktop and I'm gonna name it uh, uh, lol logo there you go, so save that to the desktop. So it's saved right here. So now what I can do, I can delete all this stuff. Delete and delete and drag this back in here. And I have this thing. So once we're here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make it look nice. So in order to do that, we're gonna go to uh, compositing mode and we're gonna click add. So that removes the background blackness. And we're going to go back to Explore tab, and we're going to find our blank League of Legends thing right there. As you can see, it's a little bit see-through, so we're going to fix that. So I'm going to go back to Compositing Mode and go to Source Alpha. And I'm going to Chroma Key uh, the Mr. Jubble. So we're going to go to Video Effects, and we're going to go to Chroma Key. Uh, once we're here, go to Default, Highlight that, Uncheck this, Click on the color, Ink Dropper, Change the color to black, Enable that, Turn on this so we make sure that everything is correct. Perfect. Now uncheck this. Bam. It's good. Now, uh, this is, we're pretty much done here. We could, uh, right, oh, shoot. 
right click on the background League of Legends blank logo, right click on that, go to properties, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, and uncheck D disable resample. And bam, it makes it wide. So we're going to adjust the size of that too. So go to pan crop for League of Legends logo, uncheck these two options, and make it a little bit less wide like this. This is a good size right here. Uh, adjust the settings. So we're going to make it about centered the best of our ability. There you go. Uh, now we're going to right click on the text we added and go to properties and uncheck maintain, as maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. And bam. Uh, now go to pan crop for the text and you know move it around, make it adjustable. League of Legends text is a little bit larger than the background logo. It's just their style. So uh, this right here looks nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a background. So go to go to explore and go to the map. The map, uh, I think it's a PNG or JPEG, I'm not sure. Uh, there it is, map.jpg. So put that underneath everything. It pops up like that. Right click on that and go to properties and go to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. And then bam, that's like that. Now we're going to make it a little bit darker. So click on top of the map and drag it down a little bit about 62%. After that, uh, right click anywhere, and insert video track on top of everything, and then go to media generator and go to, hmm, uh, let's go to color gradient. And then after that, uh, click on this one right here, elliptical transparent to black, put it on top, drag number two all the way to an edge and click on number one and change the position to zero. So it's in the center. You could use your hand, but I'd rather have an exact zero. So then it's like this. And now we're going to make the map go a little bit darker so it looks like it barely has a background. So like this. This looks really freaking nice. Uh, now once we have this, we're going to right click on here again and we're going to go to insert video track. And now make sure this video track is right under your elliptical transparent to black. We're going to go to explore. And I'm not, I'm not sure if this is going to look good, but I'm going to try it out. The particle sparks. Um, this is thanks to Foot Island. I think that's his name. Anyways, the link will be in the description to his channel for this uh, effect. So drag it right underneath and yeah, why not? And it has this thing going, right? So we're going to click add. Com oh, hold on. Delete the audio track. And we're going to go to the compositing mode and click add. And it does this thing right here. This does look nice. doesn't look too bad. So we are going to add this to our little effects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the particles. So go to video effects and go to color corrector and go to default and put it on the particles. Now you could have any color, but I'm going to go with the, with like a gold color. So perfect. So now if we watch this a little bit, we could see this is this thing. Very cool looking. This does look nice. Uh, we're going to decrease the opacity of the particles. So like click on top of it, like we did with the map and drag it down a little bit. Perfect. So that's like 51%. So half, uh, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut it out a little bit because I want this intro to be seven seconds long. So cut this stuff a little bit, extend that stuff a little bit. Perfect. So now if we watch this, if we watch the whole intro, boosh, this cool little thing going on here. Now what we want to do next, actually I'm going to lower the opacity of the particles a little bit more. 37 looks nice. Okay, so once that 37, that's good. Now we're going to make it look really cool. We're going to go to video effects and we're going to go down to light rays. So once we're there, we're going to go to where did light rays go? Oh, we're too far down. There they are, light rays. I'll go to moderate light rays. So put that on top of your little logo that you made like this. So now this looks really cool. We're going to drag this to the left and we're going to decrease the strength to zero. So now what I want to do is as this moves this way, I want to get brighter. So how we're going to do that is we're going to click the animate button. If you're an older Sony Vegas, you don't really need to click animate, but click that. We're going to go, f we're going to click on this and drag this a little bit forward about like this much. And we're going to make it go forward in the middle a little bit. And we're going to increase the strength like that. As you can see, it's working over here and we're going to go forward a little bit more and we're going to increase, we're going to make this go forward too. I want to increase the strength a little bit more. As you can see, it's getting brighter. We're going to go forward. We're going to move this forward. And we're going to increase the strength a little bit more. We're going to make this go forward. We're going to make this go forward. And we're going to make this a little bit brighter. So I'm making these keyframes a lot brighter. I'm just going to go all the way to the end. Drag this to 
about here, increase the strength to full and increase the X radius and Y radius to full. Okay, once we've done that, hold down control and click every single keyframe you just made. These little diamond things. And right click on them and go to mm, smooth. So now it's going to be a smooth transition. So if we watch this right now, we can see this happens. Boom. So now what we want to do now now what we want to do is we want to make it end. So in order to make it end, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to make we're going to give it a little bit of a 3D aspect. So in order to do that, we're going to go to pan cropped for the Mr. Jovel logo, and we're going to drag the timeline a little bit forward, about one second. And then we're gonna make it dis we're gonna make it zoom into the cam into the camera. So in order to do that, we're gonna check these two things, and we're gonna make it zoom in a little bit like this. Okay, so that makes it look like it's coming at us. Now we're gonna go all the way to the end. We're gonna go to the five second mark. So it's like one second past that. It's actually, five point five, and we're gonna drag it all the way in. So, bam, drag this all the way in. So zoom in a little bit. And drag that in. Uh, now we're just gonna make it go in all the way, and it's gonna disappear in the fade. So now, if we watch this, well, hold on, hold on, hold down Control and click the keyframes you just made to make, make them smooth. It usually works best. So smooth. So now, if we watch this, we could see that what it does is zooms in like this. It disappears like it would in the commercials. So there you go. So we're just going to make it fade out right here. We're going to make the fade go a little bit sooner. So about like halfway through, it's going to start fading as it's zooming in. So whoosh, zooming in super fast, cool. Boom, disappears. OK, now we want to make this come right behind it. We want to make the little empty. I don't know, plate that it's on, a zoom in with it. So we're going to go back to the to the logo. I'm going to see when it started. So it started just a little bit before one second. So we're going to make this go a, a little bit after one second to make it give it a, a slight 3D effect. So go to pan crop for the this back logo right here. Click that. We're going to go to a little bit after the one minute mark. Click these two. Make sure they're clicked. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit. There. So now we're going to drag this to the five second mark too. And we're going to actually a little bit delayed five second mark. Uh, about there. And we're going to make it go as deep as we can into it. Uh, there. And now we're, what we're going to do is at the end right over here, we're going to make it fade out. So go back to the thing and make it fade. Let's just grab the end of it. Bam. Uh, so if we watch this right now, by keyframe by keyframe, we can see this is what happens. They both zoom in at the same time, but they are different times. Ooh, oh god, I forgot something. Go back to the plate and hold down control and make sure these two are smoothed. So smooth. And I'm gonna make this a little bit further, so about six seconds. So now if we watch this, we can see go back a little bit. See, the Mr. Double starts zooming in first. Oh, hold on. I don't like this. It's going, it's going to come, the plate in the back is coming too fast. So go back to pan crop for the logo. And we're going to make this a little bit longer delayed. So like that. So now if we watch this, we can see. Oh, look at that. It's zooming in. Whoa. It's a little bit choppy because I'm going frame by frame. So it's, that zooms out, that zooms out. And you're left with this sparkle stuff right here. And that's where the intro pretty much ends. And I'm just going to make it fade out. Actually, should I make the particles? No, I'm not going to make the particles zoom in. I'm just going to make the particles fade out slowly. So like that. And the whole intro is basically going to fade out. So it's a fade ending. So you can have your own music and everything. So it's a seven second intro. And there. Let's watch it. Hopefully there's no lag. There's a bit of lag, but that's because of the, my computer. Uh, but anyways, that does look pretty cool. Uh, really nice looking intro. Very cool. Uh, if you want, you can add camera shake. 
in order to do that what we we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little uh, yellow thing and drag it all over the thing like this and then we're gonna go to file render as and you can render it anywhere you want render in a place that you're gonna remember so desktop main concept this is my settings you could do any settings you want and we're gonna go to intro final and we're gonna go to render as so it's gonna render it I'll, I'll just skip this part for you guys actually I don't have to skip it it's just gonna render it itself not too hard anyways we're gonna add some camera shake to make it look a little bit better camera shake usually makes intros look really professional so you know that might really help but as soon as this is finished it's gonna look real nice uh, it's gonna get down a little bit don't worry six seconds five seconds four seconds Come on, intro, let's go. I don't got all day. Perfect, it's done. So, we're just going to go file, new, start a new template. Uh, yeah, that's good to go. Okay, explore. Final intro, where is it? Uh, where did you go? Uh huh, intro final. Uh, yes. So, here's our intro. What we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to pancraft and we're going to zoom in a little bit about this much. And we're gonna go forward a little bit and we're gonna add a little bit of camera shake. We're gonna add a little bit of swivel action right here. Make it forward a little bit more. Oh god, I messed up that one. So we're gonna make it go a little bit, zoom in a little bit, a little bit of tilt, you know. We're adding camera shake. There you go, that's gonna end it off. So right click, hold down control, and click every single one of these the keyframes that you just made, and right click and go to smooth. So now if we watch the intro, we can see where we just added a little bit of camera shake. As you can see, it really adds a cool 3D effect. Very cool. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the intro. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, make sure you leave a like, Maybe a comment really helps, but a likes are awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's pretty much all and if you really liked it I do make a lot of tutorials so you should subscribe um, but that's pretty much all so thank you guys for watching and goodbye